Welcome to today's brief book review. The book we're looking at today is called The Last Party by author Claire McIntosh. The book was released in the UK on the 4th of August 2022 and it's a murder mystery. I'm not familiar with the author but I've seen some very good reviews online so I thought I'd give it a go. So what's all this about I can hear you say. Well the story is based in, uh, in North Wales. It's uh, based on a lake called, he says, check in his notes, Mirror Lake. The, the Wales-England border basically runs down the middle of the lake. On the left-hand side, on the, uh, the Welsh side of the lake, there's, um, there's a small village called Cumcoid. It's a small village, everybody knows each other's business. On the English side of the lake, the other side of the lake, is a modern development called the Shore. It's a series of exclusive holiday homes made for uh, wealthy city folk, folk that want to enjoy the, uh, the rural splendour of, of North Wales and the beauty of the, uh, the Mirror Lake. Um, the, the person behind the shore development, uh, the first five lodges have been, been built, is a chap called Rhys Lloyd. Uh, Rhys is a local boy made good opera singer, um, has it invested with, uh, with a, a, an investor to build the lodges and I want it to be a success but obviously some of the some of the villagers aren't that keen being um, you know it's a small village they like it being a small village it's their lake and the last thing they need is a load of English tourists in posh um, luxury lodges um, to try and uh, to try and get everybody together Reese decides to hold a New Year's Eve party invites the other people in the other lodges there are five lodges plus quite a few people from the local village at Kumkoi. Uh, party goes well to all intents and purposes until the next day. It's, it's a New Year's Eve party, so the next day is New Year's Day. And there's a traditional swim in the, uh, the Mirror Lake. Uh, that's when they find the body of Rhys Lloyd. Uh, clearly, uh, things aren't going well. Um, so who do they turn to to solve it? Well, the, the local police is, uh, is the representative is a form of uh, Detective Constable Fionn Morgan, who lives in Kumkoi. She's separated from her husband, living with her mother, and uh, is well known to the community. In fact, so well known that in her younger days, she was known as Fionn Wilt, which is uh, Wild Fionn. And uh, therein, I suppose, lies the rub, is that Fionn knows everybody in the village, but also everybody in the village knows Fionn. So she's got a murder on her hands, and all the people who are potential suspects, she knows. The added complication is that on the other side of the lake where the shore is, that's the English side, so they need to allocate a you know, police representative from their side, and, and up turns Leo Brady. Uh, Leo's based in Chester, works for the major crime unit, and Leo has to come and work with Fionn to work out who did the dastardly deed and killed Rhys Lloyd. It soon, did, it soon transpires that lots of people were looking to kill Rhys Lloyd. He wasn't the golden boy, the, uh, the wonderful chap that everybody thought. And very soon we, uh, we, we find there are lots of, lots of people with hidden secrets. They say that everybody's got secrets. Well, this lot have got a boatload. There is inside the cover a nice schematic, he says, struggling to find it. I'll get there in a minute. There's a schematic which shows the... Uh, the lake, Kumkoid, the English side, and there's a useful list of uh, characters at the bottom, which I found came in handy. There are a lot of characters in this book. Um, as uh, Fionn and Leo work through the list of people that live in the lodges, people that live in, in Kumkoid, there are lots of twists and turns. There's lots of uh, dead ends. Um, during the course of the investigation, they find uh, there are extramarital affairs, there are business, all sorts of business chicanery. There's all sorts of stuff going on and there's lots of stuff that's happened in the past that's now beginning to re-emerge. So it's a really good murder mystery who done it. Uh, you don't find out until the very, very end who, who, was, who the murderer was. And you actually think you know who the murderer was just before the end. And then right at the end, there's another twist. So it's a very well written book. I really enjoyed it. Um, so I haven't read any of Claire McIntosh's books before, but really enjoyed this, this book. I'd certainly give it eight out of 10. 
one of the best uh, murder mystery thrillers I've, I've read this year. Um, you won't know who did it until right at the very end. There's lots of good social commentary about the, uh, the yeah the, the Welsh side, the English side, the two trying to uh, trying to get on with each other, but they don't really. Um, but a, a really good book. So um, that's it for today's review. I, as I said, definitely give it eight out of ten. Worth a read if you haven't read it. Read it. Go and get a copy. Um, ten ten till we do it again. Thanks for watching. See you next time.